Hey Paul and welcome to a, another video uh, with me, the Stunted DM. This is a module review looking at the module item piles. Uh, it's a relatively new module. It is designed to help you do loot drops really easily um, as a new way of doing it. I think a lot of people have been using things like uh, loot sheet NPC, stuff like that to have that and I found it's a little bit can be a little bit awkward with loot and stuff um it's an alternative way of doing it so the settings are really simple there's not really much to it so i'm not gonna bother going through those most of them are pre-configured what you do need is a an actor all you need is one of these uh, so when you create an actor uh, you'll see now there is this little symbol a little like folded box click it and you'll see this option for loot pop, pop up so you got these other settings, but the main one is here. If you go activate or enable, sorry, uh, you can now have all these things. So they delete when empty, stuff like that. And then if I close this, you can now see that loop pile is showing that it is a um, nude configuration. So on here, uh, you can see this is all set up. You can change this. Uh, so that one of the settings on there, you can you can override the type of coinage. So you can ha not ha have a lecture, for example, stuff like that. And all you need to do is to add items, take it, drag it on, say, are you sure? Yes. Uh, so let's, let's add a couple of things on there. Let's add a wand. Okay, then I go update pile. And then I want to drag this onto the map here. And I'm going to switch to my player's view. So you see then i got this. So this player is going to open up the chest. Oh, it needs to be closer to interact with it. Which is quite nice. And there we go. You can now see that there's no currency because there's nothing in there. However, there are three items. If I go take, it will now show that this character is now taking this item from there. And if we go to leave. Um, and then if I want to go back and I've got to take and take the, the moment the last item leaves you can see it deletes a token and gives you a message and there is no longer anything there uh, which is quite cool and the other thing is you do request a trade so request a trade and what I do go back to the DM DM is going to trade us uh, Boris. You know, accept it. And you get this new little dialogue pop open. So you can see here it says that they've activated the trade. Now, uh, what I could do now and go, okay, well, let's give him. Boris is going to offer up these items here. Yeah, let's go for that. And if we go back to the player's view, you can see that he's been offered this. And she will counter with, let's see, let's counter with a water skin, some rations, a torch. Now, Boris sees this, goes, okay, I see your options, I like that, goes accept. What happened now is, see it's vanished. Uh, it's now added those items onto my character sheet here and it'll add the same onto the other character sheet you can see that it tells you in chat and you can't this is an option you can choose it not to show you in chat if you don't want to have that kind of reflection um but the quite cool thing is you can put it so that people can see okay well what was traded what was what was taken um same as coinage if you split coinage it will post in the chat that this much coinage has been taken by this person, this person, this person, which is really quite cool. It stops the um, requirement of people going, well, how many, who's going to take what, uh, how much gold and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, the other nice thing is you, you got the option down here for the request to trade. Uh, I think I just showed you that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool little module. Um, you can actually just drop anything on, and I know there are macros, so you can turn creatures into these with a macro, um, which is pretty pretty awesome. 
Um, but in general, it is a nice, lightweight, easy way of just putting your loot in there. You don't have to worry about it as a DM. You pop it in and then you delete it. So this is a alternative to the um, typical sheet for um, loot. So I imagine a lot of people use loot sheet NPC or merchant sheet. Uh, this is an alternative to those because it gives that functionality. Um, but yeah, it's a very quick uh, video. Just wanted to show you that. I think it's quite a cool little module, um, and it's new, has some functionality, and I imagine it will only grow as the developer wants to, uh, if it wants to do anything extra to it. But um, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.